Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 26th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Aries, and we're going to do what I'm calling a 333 reading. Um, basically, I'm going to pull three rows here. I'm using the Tarot of the Mystical Moments, by the way, if you're wondering uh, what tarot deck this is. Um, then I'm going to clarify it two times. So that's how we get 333, I guess. And we're also going to pull uh, three yes or no question cards at the end. And that'll be that, Aries. Uh, this looks pretty good. Um, a lot of people have been getting, and you show up as yourself, which is nice, but a lot of people have been getting the Ace of Swords um, at this time, which is really nice. Like, there could be, I just feel like, you know, I just feel like people need wins <laughs> right now. And I feel like there could just be some small wins for you, which kind of add up to big wins, which is nice. Uh, you start off with this woman card. It says dealings or relationships with a woman. It doesn't have to be a woman. Again, in these general readings, I'm reading for a lot of you. So it could be just any person. And you also have this valley card. It says deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So um, again, it's crazy to me that there is a lot of success coming in for people. It's funny, um, people always ask me, do I shuffle those cards? And I always say, yes, just go watch some of the other readings because multiple people have had the same cards from this Tea Leaf Fortune deck, for example. But a lot of people have been getting these cards of success. And so I feel there is a lot of success. Nobody's had this Valley card, though. So there's like a deep personal connection to a success that you're having. You even have the Fool. Um, well, I'll just show you. Going this way, Fool to the Eight of Wands to the Emperor. This is, again, like deep personal success. You're taking a leap of faith which is leading to a quick victory. You know, Eight of Wands is meant to represent a quick conclusion or a quick success. And you have the Fool, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Again, you're taking some sort of leap of faith here. And um, it's kind of funny. I kind of like this Fool card, and I don't like it at the same time. <laughs> I like it because there's an alligator or a crocodile on it. Um, but you see how she's, like, about to grab its tail. And, you know, to me that kind of makes the fool seem much more risky than it actually is. The only time the fool is a risk is when we're uneducated. Like, you know, if we don't educate ourselves on the risk that we're about to take, then the fool represents being foolish. So, you know, that's really the only time it represents a risk, a big risk that could be dangerous. But I'd say, I feel you're educated about this. You're showing up as the emperor at the end here. And so not only that, there are two emperors in this deck. Um, there's a male version and female version. And this vert, I leave both in the deck. In this version, he has like the crown on his head. And I'll show you in a minute. And it's a castle. And it's kind of like saying to me that your thoughts are in the right place. I feel like mentally you're going in the right direction, which I really like. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups. It wouldn't surprise me if some of you experienced love or new love here with the um, Knight of Cups. It could just be a person that's in your life already is what I'd say. You have the Six of Cups, which could represent family. So some of you could be like starting a family or you could have a family with a person that you're in love with. Could be a water sign for sure. Uh, it doesn't have to be. A, I'm pretty sure you've been getting water in your readings, but again, take it how it resonates. Other than that, I would definitely focus on your dreams. Like every single person, kid you not, has had this card. You can see that on this Knight of Cups, I love this Knight of Cups because she is like holding on to this heart and she's really hugging it. Normally, the Knight of Cups is like looking into a cup and he is imagining his future life. He's imagining, you know, whatever he wants his future life to look like. Could be love, but it doesn't have to be. Could be business, success, going back to school. Could be whatever it is that is close to your heart. And uh, I've never had a time where so many readings are encouraging people to like really follow their heart and go towards the things that they desire and want to have in life. You have this two of pentacles here. Two of pentacles like work hard, play hard. So I do feel that you are probably kind of working hard at this time with the two of pentacles. And to me, it looks like your hard work is paying off. You know, one thing that I will say, Aries, is that if we go this way, you go to the two of swords. So what the hell does this mean? What it means to me <laughs> is, and I feel like this could be avoided. Again, I always like to remind people, people are always like, you're too positive. I'm always like, well, terror isn't set in stone. It doesn't control your life. It's not positive or negative. It's just pointing out opportunity in your life that you have to take advantage of. The opportunity here is to make sure that you're not doing things the same way over and over and over and over again. If you find like, you know, I kind of feel like there will be clues here. So just to give you an example, like maybe in business, maybe you start making a little bit less money. I feel like that two of swords is saying, try something new, like try a new marketing technique, Tr try a new way to present your business, try a new way to uh, do sales or you know whatever it is you do, just try something new. Two of swords can be being stuck in like the same routine. And that's kind of like what I'm feeling in that diagonal there. Uh, next, 
in your middle row, you have this throne card. It says position of authority. We know that you're gaining authority because of that emperor card as well, which is you. You also have this older woman. It says dealings or relationships with an older woman. So some of you could just be dealing with a person. I kind of feel like this is the same woman or same person. You have that woman card at the beginning of the reading, and then you have this older woman card. So it's kind of like the same is what I'm getting here, uh, which is very interesting. I don't know how to like verbalize what I'm feeling here, Aries. And, you know, again, as always, like when I don't know, I'm not going to try to make something up. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're just dealing with the same person. You do have the Six of Cups here. So the Six of Cups could say that you're dealing with a person that you've known since the past. And again, gender doesn't matter because I'm reading for a lot of you. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like, I kind of feel like this is a good thing. If you're dealing with, if you are dealing with a person from the past, love or otherwise, doesn't have to be love. Um, I feel like there is a sense of maturity here. Um, you have the Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Six of Cups, I feel, um, I just like this. I just feel good on, about this for you, Aries. I feel like you're... You know, it's like you're thinking about the right things. I feel like you're doing the right things. I feel like you're feeling fulfilled, happy. And it's like when we focus on those things, we get more of it. And that's what it seems like is going on to me here. I also feel something about your environment. It's almost as if like you're just in the right spot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like it. So we'll just leave it at that. You have the Eight of Wands as well. Quick success. I love the Eight of Wands, especially right now. Eight of Wands is also a very quick manifestation. So make sure you're using your power words. Make sure you're using good words to manifest good things in your life. But really, I feel like there's just quick success here. Really, I feel this is kind of talking about this deep personal change that you're going through towards that emperor energy. You have this Queen of Swords here as well. And if we look at the Queen of Swords, she is looking over to you, to the emperor. So I kind of feel like people are seeing this change that you're going through. I don't think that Queen of Swords is one person. I feel that it could be that Queen of Swords energy is saying like all eyes on you. Very interesting because Taurus, I titled the Taurus reading all eyes on you. You are obviously born very close to Taurus. So it makes sense to me whenever two signs get the same kind of information, it makes sense to me because you're right in the same part of the sky. And um, again, it also makes sense because you have Jupiter in your, you know, still in your sign. It will be retrograding back into Pisces like October 28th or something like that. And then it's going to start moving forward in November. And then eventually in December, it'll be back in Aries officially. And uh, then next year, it's going to move into Taurus. So, you know, I feel there's like a lot of abundance because of this. I've talked about this a lot for you and Re really, the reason I've talked about it a lot for you, Aries, is because I want you to be excited about it. <laughs> and I also want you to start planting seeds. It's like the seeds you plant now, this next year, maybe it takes until the year after 2024 or whatever for those seeds to really grow. But that doesn't mean you're not going to see abundance right away. You are. But I'm just telling you, like the work you do now, it's going to pay off like a thousand times more in the future. So do the work, right? Uh, next. You have this Caterpillar card. It says, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Again, clearly a deep personal change. You have this Candle card. It says, you will be shown the way. There's a lot of clarity coming in for you because of that Queen of Swords in your reading as well. She finally sees things clearly for the first time. It's kind of funny because a lot of people have had these messages of great clarity um, this month and Mercury retrograde. And as I always say, it kind of makes sense because Mercury retrograde can bring in a lot of clarity to us because we're like revisiting things from the past and we could just be, you know, it doesn't have to be relationships, could be anything. And we're just gathering information. So it kind of makes sense. Um, you have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords and the Emperor here. The Two of Swords, again, is just like the one little bugaboo in your reading. I feel like you just need to make sure that you're kind of always trying new things and doing new things so that you don't get stuck with this energy. The Ace of Swords is a victory. So I do feel that there is like a victory coming in for you clearly in some sort of win. I'm also getting something about an apology here. So some of you could be receiving like apology vibes. You have the Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. That, this middle, sorry, this middle here kind of gives me the vibes of an apology or something like that. And you also have the Emperor. The Emperor is about you being in a very strong position. You can see that he has that castle on his head. And I feel that your thoughts are going in the right direction. Like if you're establishing something or trying to create something in your life or trying to create an establishment, I feel like you could be establishing something like very, very quickly in your life. And it's going to lead to a lot of abundance for you is what I feel without even clarifying. So uh, let's clarify it. We're going to clarify right now with the Radiant Rider weight. So uh, let's see here. Uh, with the Fool, you have the Two of Wands. Take the leap of faith. Uh, like I said, Tuan's about leaving a comfort zone. He has this village down here 
and he needs to leave his village. He needs to go off into the world. He's trying to protect himself at the top of this castle. So everything you want is going to be outside of your castle, <laughs> where you are right now. With the Knight of Cups, you have the, uh, yeah, sorry, the Knight of Cups, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow movement. I actually feel pretty good about this. I kind of go both ways on the Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And uh, in your reading, I like it. I actually feel like you're kind of approaching, like I'm getting something about your approach to whatever you're working on is what's popping into my head. And I feel like you have the right approach is what this is saying. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Empress. Are you kidding me? Uh, definitely divine counterparts. You have the emperor and the empress. Doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to either. I feel that for some of you, there could be a divine counterpart or someone you've been hoping for uh, entering into your life here. And I feel like it's, again, gonna lead to a lot more abundance. Clearly, whatever you're working on, there's a lot of abundance here. I do kind of feel that that empress is saying like, don't be lazy. I'm not calling you lazy, Aries, but what I am saying is like, you know, don't rest on your laurels. I feel like you could be coming into success and I feel this is saying, make sure to keep that momentum going. The two of pentacles underneath her, it's that figure eight, right? You put energy out, you get energy back, but don't stop, you know, that flow from going. Uh, sorry, my camera might've just turned off there, but uh, with the six of cups, you have the sun. The sun is about happiness. So I do feel there is like a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you here. And sorry, let me just fix this real quick. Um, so I feel there's a lot of happiness and joy. Again, something about children here, um, you know, the, the sun, this right here is like your inner child. So there could just be like a lot more happiness or you could be having children at this time. With the eight of wands, you have the four of wands marriage. Some of you could be focused on marriage or commitments. Uh, definitely a lot of completion energy here. You know, the four of wands is kind of like a card of reaching a finish line. It's a card of celebrating with these people over here. And, you know, I feel you could be wrapping a lot of things up in your life that just, you know, it's just time and you're just ready for something new. With the Queen of Swords, you have the uh, High Priestess. Again, water sign. I'm pretty sure you always get Pisces lately. So some of you could be attracting a Pisces into your life um, or maybe you already have this person in your life. And I feel, trust your intuition. I don't know, I feel like this is good. I don't feel bad about this. I also would say with the Eight of Wands, you know, she has this crown on her head and it kind of represents three stages of the moon. It also represents the fact that she sees the beginning, middle, and end of everything that she does in life before she does it. And people always say, how the hell? Like, I can't see the future. That's not what it's about. She she creates the future in her head. So she sees it as she wants it to go. I feel if you're trying to do anything, just kind of making sure that your thoughts are directed towards the way that you want things to go is going to lead to the most success for you. With that Two of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. It's like some sort of adventure. Um, you know, I kind of feel like this is you just feeling excited, feeling like you are finding success as well. Again, with that Two of Swords, you know, if you have a business, I'm telling you right now, like I would just try like, you know, like one new thing, like a month or a week or something like that. It's like, you know, in, in, like I always say to people, people are like, how'd you grow this channel so quickly? I do one new thing in every single video that I do. You don't have to be as crazy as me. But what I would say is that what I used to do before this as well was I would split it up in, a, in quarters. Like I used to have like a lot of ideas and I would just get overwhelmed and I wouldn't do anything. So what I would do is like, I would just, what I started doing is just picking one thing per quarter, you know, basically every three months that I would focus on for that quarter, something new that I would try in my business. It's like, you know, and even at that point, sometimes like I, nothing would work, right? <laughs> but usually I would find at least one quarter, one thing would work really, really well. That would change my business, right? And, you know, now I have multiple businesses, but what I would say here is like, I still do that in all those businesses and all the things that I do is I try one new thing every single quarter and, um, or usually more at this point. And, um, you know, it's like, once you do that, it changes everything again, especially if you're like me, uh, maybe you're not, but if you're like me, if you get overwhelmed, you have a lot of ideas, you don't know what to do. Just trying one thing. Like I got, like when I started doing that years ago, I got so much more accomplished than I normally would. Cause I normally would just be overwhelmed and wouldn't do anything. And I kind of feel like that's what that's talking about. That's why I'm telling you this with the Ace of Swords, you have the Hierophant. Hierophant is a card of education. Sorry, I feel like something is touching me <laughs> as well. Sometimes, I don't know, we might have a visitor here, someone uh, visiting you here. Um, I kind of feel like this could be happening in your sleep as well, Aries. So some of you might have like passed on loved ones or something that are like, you know, kind of delivering messages or whispering in your ear while you sleep or something like that. I don't know. But um, what I would say here is that the Hierophant represents a connection between the heavens and the earth. So there could be a very deep connection to this, to your spiritual side, I feel. With the Emperor, you have the Three Swords. Three Swords can be a heartbreak. I would just watch your health. Um, 
what I would say is just looking at the end of this year, Mars retrograde, right? Um, I'm not a doctor. Do not take this as medical advice. I would just make sure that you're staying healthy, that you're staying on top of your health and all that other good stuff. Follow the typical health rules and I feel like you'll be fine. Uh, just that simple. Uh, we're going to clarify now with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun and we're going to see what else wants to come up. With the Two Wands and the Fool, you have this eccentricity card. Again, um, I feel if we have ideas at this time, they are going to be eccentric. If we have like new goals or if there are changes in direction that we want to make in our life, um, people might think we're weird. Uh, who cares? The other thing that I'm getting here is that like, don't be afraid to make a change. If you, you might be telling people about an idea that you have for a business or something to do with your life, and then you might change your mind later. And you might be afraid to say something. People don't like it when we change our mind, right? Plain and simple. People want I think people develop comfort zones with us, with just us people in general, right? We do it with the people in our lives too. And when we change, I think they, you know, kind of makes something weird in the energy. What I would say here is you might like tell people, oh, I'm going to start this business. You might change your mind and people might say, I thought you were doing this, right? I would say, don't let that get to you. Um, it's popping into my head. Uh, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, you have this seduction card. Definitely love coming in for you for sure if you don't already have it. Um, very strong connection. Pisces, Jupiter and Pisces, by the way. <laughs> so you know, around the time of like the end of October, if you're looking for love, even though this is a weekly reading, it could be around the end of October that you meet this person. I kind of feel it could be when Jupiter moves back to, into Pisces, might not be a Pisces. You have basically everything here, earth and air definitely stand out to me as well. So it could be any sign, but I feel it could be around the end of October. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles and the Empress, you have this detachment card. Mm, I feel like you are kind of, I kind of feel like you're careless in a good way is what I'd say here. I feel like you are detaching from outcomes. Again, you're not the only person to get this card. And it does kind of strike me as interesting because uh, normally this would represent detaching from a person. Sure, some of you could be detaching from a person, but I kind of feel like this is more detaching from outcomes and being open to different ways of doing things. With the Six of Cups and the Sun, you have this endurance card. You can't beat beat. <laughs> I feel like no one can stop you at this time, Aries. I feel like you have a lot of endurance. I feel like you're a little bit unstoppable in whatever it is that you're working on. Kind of looks like the strength card. So, you know, make sure that you don't give up on the things that you're working on in your life. Could be another fire sign coming in for you, by the way, as well. This card is Scorpio, but um, you have the sun here as well. So it could be a Leo as well. You know, it could just be a fixed sign coming in for you. Uh, with, an eight, with, with the eight of wands and the four of wands, you have this isolation card. Mm, I feel like you kind of are okay with isolation. This person looks sad and there's a person who's trying to comfort him. Why do I, mm, you know, I kind of get a very strange feeling from this. I'm not going to lie to you <laughs> here, Aries. You know, I feel like there's love coming in for you, but you feel isolated or have felt isolated. And I know, very interesting. I would be careful of stress. I would make sure that you remove stress from your life. I would also say that as far as love is concerned, I would, I feel you could be moving away from something that causes you stress. I'm going to clarify that. I want to pull one more card on that. We might have to pull three cards at the end. Um, you have this revenge card. I would be careful of someone coming back for revenge as well. I'm going to pull three more cards on that at the end, just because with the queen of swords and the high priestess, you have this versatility card. Um, versatility just kind of represents being open to different ways of doing things. If one way doesn't work, try something else. You have the high priestess. I think it's great to have the big vision, uh, in your life and with your goals and whatever you're working towards. But I would also say, stay open to different ways of doing things because that'll lead to the most success, obviously. With the Two of Swords and the Page of Wands, you have this indecision card. Basically, the Two of Swords <laughs> coming up here. So I feel like it's time to make a decision. Again, Page of Wands is your best friend. Like I said, I am the king of overthinking. Trust me. I mean, I spent many, many years doing it. And again, the trick was just setting up those time frames, being like every single quarter, I'm going to try one new thing. Maybe you need to do this in your health. Maybe you need to do this in you know, your spirituality or just other areas of your life. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. But be open to trying different things. I feel like that'll lead to the most success. With the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant, you have this adaptability card. You are capable of learning. Adaptability is just being adaptable, being able to come up with new ways of doing things. Like that card there, or sorry, you had this um, sun in Gemini and you also have this card here, the moon in Gemini. So, uh, you know, again, uh, the moon in Gemini is all about kind of being able to see all sides of doing things and being able to do a lot and being a great multitasker. And I feel like you're embracing that energy. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have the Assertion card. Um, I feel like you are asserting your dominance in asserting yourself. I feel like you are very assertive at this time. Again, obviously, at the end of the year, we have Jupiter going into your sign. 
you're going to be very assertive. <laughs> you're going you're going to be standing out in some way. And that is the sun in Aries, by the way, that card. And so, you know, again, clearly you are standing out. Uh, before we pull three yes, no question cards, I just want to clarify what is going on here. I feel weird. I feel very, I feel detached from this, um, from this isolation card and this revenge card. Can we just get three cards about this? Three of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. See, remember what I was, I was talking about focusing on yourself at some point in the reading here. I feel like if you're giving too much energy to um, situate uh, like other past situations that have ended, you know, that could be causing some problems. I would be focusing on new beginnings if I were you. I would also be focusing on teamwork with the Three of Pentacles. This could be saying you don't need to isolate yourself from, you know, other people who could like help you be successful in life or um, other things. So we're going to pull three yes or no question cards. We're going to do one, uh, two, and three right here. Feel free to pause this reading if you need time to think your questions. One, two, three. For question number one, you have the four pentacles. Uh, I would say no, I feel like you need to move away from whatever you're asking about here. <laughs> so no. Uh, for question number two, you have the four cups. Uh, again, I would say, I would actually say no with both of these fours. Four cups is like thinking the grass is gonna be greener. I would say no. For question number three, I would say yes, you have the world, of course. Definitely some sort of accomplishment coming in for you. I definitely feel like there's love here. Some of you, I feel like already have it. Um, for others, I would definitely be careful of past love with that revenge isolation card. I just feel weird about that. And, I, and you know, again, if I don't know an answer, I'm not going to try to come up with something. I, I don't know what the answer is there. I would just say I would be careful of the past. I would focus on new energy. I feel like there could be new love coming in for you, obviously, uh, with this reading. And it could be a divine counterpart as well. But uh, thank you for being here, uh, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.